Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wednesday, our power up here on this wonderful day. Uh, hope that you're doing great. Uh, and man, the sun is shining, going to be another warm day. I think it was close to touching 90s yesterday. Uh, and I think it's going to be a, another warm day today. Uh, they were, I believe, and not that I'm a meteorologist, but hey, I could be right 30% of the time. I think they were talking maybe some uh, uh, some rain in that over the next couple of days. We'll see. Uh, that was early on in the week. It's probably uh, the chance for that has probably gone down significantly. But man, enjoy that sunshine. Enjoy that warm weather. Uh, and I've heard it said this way. This is... Um, with that humidity, it's weather that you can wear, and <laughs> uh, that's a blessing. Uh, anyway, uh, good to be on with you today. Hit that share button really quick so that everybody knows that we are live and ready to go. Sorry if the uh, lighting's a little different. The sun is shining through pretty good there. I think a cloud is slightly covering it up now, but uh, slightly coming through the window there. So for that, I do apologize. All right, here we go. Let's look. Romans chapter number four is where we're at. Once again, share button if you haven't already done so. Let's look at verse number one. The Bible says, what shall we say then? That Abraham, our father, as pertaining to the flesh, hath found. Remember, we've been looking at this contrast uh, between the law, uh, our works of the flesh, and through grace, the works of the of Jesus Christ on the cross, okay? And then the, the question is therefore posed, and rightfully so, about uh, those that live the Old Testament, about Abraham, all right? Uh, what, what's, what's up with Abraham now? How was Abraham saved? And that is a tremendously good question, uh, and we get that question in Romans 4, verse number 1. What shall we say then? That Abraham our father as pertaining to the flesh hath found. Uh, and then we see this kind of uh, the reasoning and the the thinking it out and proving it out here in verse number two and following. For if Abraham were justified by works, he hath whereof to glory, but not before God. Uh, and the statement kind of going back to chapter number three, the glory of God and so on. Uh, the question is posed, if, if Abraham were justified by his works, if he were purchased by his works, if he were made whole by his works, uh, he hath whereof to glory. Uh, if, it's, if it's Abraham's works uh, that, that saved him, that got him into heaven, uh, then he could glory in himself, he could glory in what he had accomplished. Okay? Look at verse number three. For what saith the scripture? All right, and so now Paul here, going back to the Old Testament, what does the scripture say about Abraham and about Abraham, his uh, salvation, if you will? It says, for what say the scripture, Abraham believed God and was counted unto him for righteousness. You see the difference. It's not his works that saved him. He believed God. In fact, you want to go back to it, uh, Genesis chapter number 15. Uh, and we note verse number 6. In Genesis chapter 15, verse number 6, we see this statement of the scripture. And he, that being Abraham, believed in the Lord. And he, that being the Lord, counted it to him, that being Abraham, for righteousness. It was not Abraham's circumcision that saved him. It was not Abraham's good deeds that saved him. It was his belief in God that was counted him for righteousness. It wasn't uh, his works that were counted him for righteousness, but rather it was his belief in God, his faith in God. Uh, and let me just remind you once again, and I know we've talked about this because this is where Romans kind of is, um, in regards to salvation, what is it that saves us? It is not a, a baptism that saves us. It is not sacraments that save us. It is not how many old ladies we walk across the street that save us. It's not our church attendance that saves us. It's not our giving to the local church that saves us. It's not our ministry in the church that saves us. It's not, our, it's not our parents' faith that saves us. What was it that saved Abraham? He believed in God. 
Abraham believed in God. That is a personal faith in God. And what is the way of salvation? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It is the belief, it is what we are believing in for our salvation. Uh, and are we believing in Jesus Christ? And that's got, let me tell you this, it's got to be it. It's Jesus Christ and nothing. It is not Jesus Christ and my baptism. It is not Jesus Christ and my financial giving to the church. It's not Jesus Christ and my church attendance. It's not Jesus Christ and you fill in the blank with whatever good works. And all of those are good things, but it's Jesus Christ and nothing else that saves us. So the, the question that needs to be begged for all of us, what is it that we are trusting in for our salvation? It's got to be Jesus Christ and nothing else. Note with me now, verse number four. We're going to look at two more verses here as we consider this thought. Now to him that worketh is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. That's so good. Jesus, when he died for us, he took our sin debt. What was our sin debt? Our sin debt is death. You see, the payment for sin is death. Somebody has to die. And because of our sin, we are doomed to death and separation from God for all of eternity. Jesus stepped out of heaven lived a perfect life, therefore he could be that spotless lamb, and his blood was shed on the cross of Calvary so that we might have life, so that we might experience salvation. Uh, and so our salvation is not out of debt in works that we do. We aren't working to earn our way to heaven. We aren't paying money to some religious outfit so that we can buy our loved ones out of purgatory uh, and see them into heaven. No. You look at verse number four, now to him that worketh, okay, that's our own works, is the reward not reckoned of grace, but of debt. Why would somebody work or their good works get them to heaven? They're working to get themselves out of debt and attain heaven. The problem is this, is we can never do enough good works to get ourselves out of our sin debt. Jesus is the only one that can fulfill and pay that sin debt because he lived a perfect life. He died for us. Now, you look at verse number five, we kind of get the other side of this, but... To him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Who, who is the one that justifieth the ungodly? Who's the one that, uh, and this is a very simple definition, who is the one that, that can have us claim just as if I'd never sinned? That only comes through Jesus Christ. Remember what some of the scriptures say. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Uh, Acts, the, the Bible says this in Acts chapter 4, verse number 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. The only way of salvation is through Jesus Christ, the Lord. John 3, verse number 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever doeth enough good works shall have everlasting life. No, it's not what it says. John three sixteen says that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. The plan of salvation was set in stone before the creation of everything. Uh, and Jesus came to this earth and died 
paid our sin debt so that we may have heaven. And then he gave us that blessed hope when he rose from the dead. And because he lives, we too can live. And that's exciting to think about. And we're going to end with that today, just with verse number five. But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. So when God sees us, he sees his son. And we've been adopted into the family of God. And how exciting uh, that is. Let me, let me tell you, if you don't know Christ as your Savior, you can know him. It's, you simply just believe. You know, the, Bible, the Bible tells us later on in the book of Romans, who is salvation for? For whosoever, that's anybody, shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. In that calling on the Lord, it is a believing with all of your heart that Jesus can and will save you. Uh, it's not anything you do. It's what he's already done. You just believe. All right, we're going to end with that this morning. Thank you so much for being on today. You had a good number on watching live, and so thankful for that. Appreciate you all sharing and uh, promoting uh, the, the page here. No matter how you're watching, Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, uh, appreciate you all being on. And I would encourage you, please comment uh, if you haven't commented and if you're watching this on another platform or watching it later in the day. Becky, good morning to you. Hope you have a great day. Karen, good morning to you as well. Have an awesome day. Paula, good morning. David and Claudia, good morning to you both. David, hope you had a good birthday yesterday. Kim, good morning to you. Thank you for watching today. Tom, good morning. Good to have you on. Brian and Cindy, good morning to you both as well. Dennis and Geraldine, good to have you both on. Ingrid, good morning to you. Love you and have a great day. And Jody, good to have you on as well. Lord bless you all. Have a great day, everybody. We'll touch base again tomorrow.